guys. Hey guys, welcome to Poor Man Pedals. Uh, unfortunately, there were technical problems with uh, the unboxing. Um, I don't know what happened or why, but this is what I get uh, for trying something new, I guess. Uh, basically, Tolman was kind enough to send me a new pedal and a guitar. Uh, go ahead, comment below what you think guitar I got from them. Um, they were kind enough to send these out to me and review and all that. I did the, there were some, some, there were some dings on the big shipping box. Uh, they didn't seem too, too bad though. And then I got to the inside, uh, and pulled out the guitar box and everything there. There were a couple dings, but nothing massive except, uh, at the very top. Where the headstock is, there's this hole, and I don't know if you guys can see, but you can see it goes through some cart, some styrofoam, and then there is another piece of cardboard. Let's see, this guy right here. So it was kind of like that, and the guitar headstock just went clear through uh, all that, um, and that's the only only problem i have had is uh that one thing i i looked at the guitar which by the way is this lovely thing it's the cst 24 deluxe semi hollow uh in i think it's called like tortoise flame or tortoise shell something like that uh it's absolutely beautiful the only problem i have seen is right here the head at the headstock where it would have poked through let me go ahead and just i don't know if you guys can see that very well with the focusing but there is some um, the the finish is uh what's the word i'm looking for the finish has come off there there's some paint chipping uh it's not a huge deal, but it is something to be aware of. Uh, but that's the only problem I have found with this guitar. Everything else is just absolutely beautiful about it. Um, the neck feels really nice. Um, it's maybe a little... No, it, it's actually pretty good. I was thinking it might be a little too glossy for me, but it's actually pretty good. Pretty good feel. Um, I mean, I just got to take off the plastic stuff, uh, but everything else sound, or feels good. I don't know how it sounds yet. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and tune this up. Uh... Okay, yeah. I just noticed one other thing. This is not a big thing for me, but just something for people who are very, very uh, attentive to detail. I don't know how well you can see this, but it looks like this tuning peg instead of being at a 90 degree angle like the others it looks like it's tilted ever so slightly up i don't know how well you can see that but honestly it doesn't bother me because it's still doable it would have been a little nice it would have been nicer if it had done that but you you also have to keep in mind these guitars uh, run. This one is like two hundred twenty, two hundred thirty dollars, and then you add in uh, to get here to the states, it's another like thirty, thirty five dollars. So you're paying less than three hundred dollars for this beauty, and I think a few in my what are in my opinion 
very minor flaws, uh, one of which is not even their fault, one of which is shipping's fault. <laughs> uh, I, I think it, it can be overlooked though. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, and tune it up now and maybe even plug it in. So let's do that. Got my uh, D-Dario headstock tuner here. Uh, while I do this, I'll just let you guys know, um, if you order a Carly a guitar through Toman, you can actually tell them, uh, you can ask them to do things like, uh, set it up for, like, uh, drop D, or not, you wouldn't necessarily want to get a full guitar set up for drop D, but, like, D standard, or drop C, or whatever, uh, and it, the guitar does come set up. So we're going to find out how well that setup works. And so far, so good. I mean, these things have been pretty in tune. I've only had to do minor. Looks like they tune them, get them set up, and then detune them, you know, anywhere from one to two semitones for shipping. Um, I am extremely excited though, because this is a first of my first guitar with many features. Uh, this is my first semi-hollow guitar. This is my first flame maple top guitar. This is my first guitar with uh, any kind of binding on it. This is my first set neck guitar. This is my first guitar with uh, coil, I don't know if it's coil tap or coil split. Uh, one of the two. This is my first guitar without dot inlays. Uh, I thought it was gonna be dot inlays because on the website, the picture has just dot inlays, but it's got this really cool like cross or something crosshairs or something inlay uh in there uh the woods are very different uh this is also my first three and three uh electric guitar heads uh head stuff so oh it's also my first guitar that doesn't have a whammy bar <laughs> so this guitar is a first for many things so, I'm excited. Let's go ahead. Uh, got my Boss Katana right here. Let's go ahead.
plays really well. Like, this is this is really well set up, actually, I think. Yeah. No, like, this is pretty fantastic. Uh, this is amazing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this down, and let's take a look at the chorus pedal real quick. Standby. And still recording. So this is the Harley Benton Custom Line Chorus Pedal. Can you see that? Yeah. Uh, good old silica gel in there. Uh, this is the manual. It's in German on one side and English on the other. Uh, it says it's a multi-voice chorus. Uh, I'm actually really excited for this. I think this will be great. It's got rate, depth, and intensity. It takes a 9-volt power supply. Does it say if it does the battery? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, it does take a battery. There's a little sound in there, but I'm pretty sure that's just uh, the part that plugs into the battery. Uh, so let's go ahead, actually, and uh, let me turn, ooh. So they use the chicken head knobs, which I actually really like. I do and I don't. They don't look great, but they're very useful, <laughs> uh, in my opinion. So let's go ahead. Uh, unplug the guitar. Uh, we want out. And then in. Everything came down there. I guess this is why they put rubber feet on the bottom. I wanted to show you guys it's the settings, but I guess that's just not going to happen. Another thing this guitar is my first for is this is my first one with 24 frets. So.
Okay, guys, there you go. That's what I got. That's what I was so excited for. I... It was killing me that it wasn't until yesterday afternoon that I got an ETA on this thing. It was killing me. You can ask coworkers. You can ask my wife. I, I'm pretty sure I was driving everyone nuts about wondering about when I was going to get this. I'm so excited to have this. Uh, I'm really glad that there aren't any major problems. I've seen, I've seen a few things that made me worry, but this overall is a great, great thing, I think. I'm really excited to get the plastic off everything, get the plastic off the pickups, get, uh, and just go to town on this. Um, I'm just really excited, guys. I'm really excited. So, until next time, Poor Man Pedals is out.